I basically came into the game with three goals in mind, and my first goal was to compete against my brother. I've always loved to compete against Aris, and like for me, like getting the chance to come out here and compete against Aris in these challenges and this game, it was such an amazing experience, and I really thoroughly accomplished that first goal. My second goal was to compete with Aris. You know, like in the end, it was my goal to get to the, you know, the final tribal council with Aris by my side and eventually beat him. You know, I wanted to play against him, I wanted our rivalry to continue, but ultimately I wanted to play with my brother and, you know, kind of be on the same page as he was. And I did get to accomplish that goal, even though it wasn't for a very long time. You know, my third and final goal was to win a million dollars. I didn't win that money. And in hindsight, in, in essence, it was my desire of goal number two that kept me from goal number three. You know, I played a great game by myself. I played a ga great game before Aris Aper came into that picture. It was only once we merged and once, you know, we became a, a real partnership that, you know, my game fell to pieces. But, you know, I'm happy with that. And, you know, coming into this game with Aris, I was happy to go out of this game with Aris at the same time. And I love my brother. So even though I didn't win the million, it was a great experience that I'll get to share with him forever. And, you know, I got to, you know, accomplish my goal of being on this show. It was surreal to be here with Jeff and with Tribal and with the challenges. It was such a cool thing, you know, it was an amazing experience. You know, for the first two weeks, almost three weeks, I was so happy to compete against Aris. I love competing against Aris. Ever since he was born and I went to the hospital and I was like, who the is that taking my attention away from my parents you know like from that initial moment of seeing Aris on this earth we've been competitive at least I've been so you know, I was really happy to compete with him but at some point during that competition with Aris like the goal of competing together started to outweigh competing against each other at least for me you know and although I still strove to beat him in every challenge I was really looking forward to the merge and I was really looking forward to the point where we get to play together you know and and I, I started really playing my game as the merge drew closer and closer, you know, to really get toward RS and starting to see us as a partnership working together, you know, two being one. And I had my alliances, he had his alliances. And when we merged, when we finally got to that point, we were only one of three pairs that got to the merge together. You know, and it was a great honor to have made it that far. It was a great accomplishment. But it was the merging with my brother and the merging of our strategies that was in essence, my undoing, you know? Um, I came into this game knowing that Aris was too trusting and that Aris's downfall is, you know, being too trusting of other people. And for me, like not adhering to that, you know, not adhering to my own warnings of like, hey, Aris trusts people too easily. Like you make sure you, make sure you do your due diligence when Aris tells you he had that somebody, you know, that he has somebody on lock, you know, and I didn't do that. so. You know, I could blame Aris all I want for me getting out of this game, but it really it was my fault that, you know, I was blind to Aris' strategy. You know, day 27 was not my goal. My goal was a million dollars. And knowing that I came out here swinging for the fences, knowing that I came out here playing as hard as I could is, you know, that's all I could do. And even though I made some mistakes and so did Aris, you know, I'm happy with how it went down. When I did get voted out, I got to Redemption Island. And the cool thing about the Redemption Arena is you get to leave this game on your own terms. Um, own terms being that I could have solved the puzzle I was given my duel and I didn't, you know? And because I didn't solve that puzzle, I was eliminated from this game. You know, it's a little bit bittersweet that Laura M helped out Tina in the end. And unfortunately, Tina finished like three seconds before I did. Um, yeah, it's a little bit bittersweet that that happened, but it is what it is, you know? Like only one person can win the money and it wasn't me. So I tried my best. I think my first best moment of this game was when I beat Aris at the ring toss because, you know, Aris had beat me up pretty bad sumo at sea. And, um, you know, that moment when I slid down and I grabbed the ring and I threw it on there and we got to win our first challenge. We had lost four challenges in a row up until that point. And um, it was awesome. You know, just being a fan of the show was awesome to win a reward challenge. Not, you know, not to mention that it was stakes, but the fact that I got to be my brother at the same time doing it, it was rad. Like that challenge, I'm so excited to replay over and over in my mind as I get older. I beat Aris, we, run the, we won the reward. It was a great moment in this game. Um, an another great moment for me, you know, and like I said in the beginning, my goals were to compete against Aris and to play with Aris. So my first best moment was when I got to compete against Aris and beat him. 
but my next best moment was when we got to meet together. When I got to hug Aris when we merged. I remember at Redemption Arena, Jeff said, drop your buffs, you're gonna merge, Laura's back. I got to give Aris this great big hug. And it was awesome. You know, it was really authentic and pure and having played against him for 19 days, it was real special to finally embrace him. And I think it represented so much more than just, you know, us going at it for 19 days. It was us going at it for our whole lives and finally coming together with this great hug of like, hey dude, I love you and I'm so excited to be here with you and now finally be on the same team as you because I do feel like that with Ara sometimes, that we haven't been on the same team, that we've always fought against each other and we've always been opposing each other. But now to be able to come together as one, it was such a special moment for us. And I do just remember that the last night before Aris left, when we were on Redemption Island together, and we were both meditating on the beach, and I looked over at him meditating, I looked at the sunset, I closed my eyes, and it just felt so special and so surreal, the two of us enjoying a sunset meditation Redemption Island. My best moments in this game were with Aris. You know, they weren't by myself, they weren't with other people, they were with my brother, and that's what's so special about Blood versus Water and getting to be out here with him.